everybody. Welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Tracy from Midpoint Library, Westchester, and this is Storytime. That means we will read a book together, we will sing some songs, and we will do some rhymes. So let's do a rhyme after I shake some Storytime love your way and you find the perfect spot and settle in. So make sure you find the perfect spot for stories. Here's my story time wand, and I am going to shake some story time love your way. Ready? Everybody settle in while I shake, 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 shake. Did you find the perfect spot spot for stories? Are you ready for story time? I know I am. So let's do that rhyme that we're going to do to start all of story time off. And it uses your hands. Can you hold your hands just like this? All right, and let's practice making our hands go open and shut. Let's practice one more time. Ready, open and shut. I think we're ready for our rhyme. It's called open them, shut them. Let's do it together, ready? Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give them a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them them, open them, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up near your chin, chin, chin. Creep them up to the top of your head and creep them down again. Nice job, everybody. All right, let's meet our story time helper for the day. And today our story time helper is that's right, it's cow. And cow says, moo. You're going to need to do that in a song later. So let's practice together. What does cow say? Moo. All right, nice job. Well, cow's gonna help us with a song first. And we're going to sing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. See how cow is clapping his hands? And cow is going to help me clap like this. Can you do that too? All right, let's try it together. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Nice job. Let's do one more. How about if you're happy and you know it, Shake your fingers. Wait a minute, does cow have fingers? No. You will watch us shake our fingers. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, shake your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, shake your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake your fingers. Nice job, all right. Cow has one more thing to do. Cow is going to help us open up our red mailbox because it's mail time. We have some mail, some story time mail. I wonder what's in the mail. We have some mail. Do you think Cow can open up our red mailbox? All right, Cow, let's see. Ta-da! All right, nice job. Now Cow's going to watch story time, but he'll be back to help us sing a song. All right, look, our mail says story time kids. That's us. Let's look inside and see what we have today. We have a letter. It's the letter F. That's right, and F makes the sound. Can you make that sound with me? All right, let's see what else we have in the mail. We have flower. Flower. What else? Do you know what this is? It buzzes around your head. It's a fly. F -f fly. Well, that was a fun mail today. All right, you might also hear the sound in our book today, in the title of our book. Our book is called I Spy on the Farm. That's right, and it's by Edward Gibbs. He did the pictures too. And it is from Candlewood Press. Thank you so much to Candlewood Press for letting us use this book. It's called I Spy on the Farm. 
I wonder what we will be able to spy. Do you know what spy means? That means look or see. I wonder what we will see and look at on the farm. F farm, did you hear that? That's our letter of the day. I spy on the farm. I spy with my little eye something yellow that begins with a D and it says quack quack. What do you think that is? A duckling. I'm a duckling. I spy with my little eye something red that begins with an R and it says cock a doo doo doo. Can you guess? What do we spy? A rooster. I'm a rooster. Here are those words again. Do you know you could probably read them with me now? I spy with my little eye something white that begins with an L and it makes the sound. Ma, ma. Do you know what that is? A lamb. A lamb is a baby sheep. That's a lamb. Ready to help me read? I spy with my little eye something pink that begins with a P and says this, <laughs> oink, oink. Oh, I know you got that one. I'm a pig. Let's read together. I spy with my little eye something gray that begins with a G. Meh, meh. That one's pretty tough. Can you get that one? A goat. I'm a goat. Let's read. I spy with my little eye something black that begins with an H and says, me, me. Did you get that one? A horse. I'm a horse. I spy, are you reading with me? With my little eye, something brown that begins with a C and says, Wait a minute. Could it be our story time helper for the day? I'm a cow. And I spy, says cow, you. I do. I spy you. What can you spy with your little eye? Oh, you would have to go to the farm to spy all of those animals. Which one was your favorite farm animal? I think I liked rooster. Or uh, maybe we should say cow because cow is here. All right, that was I Spy on the Farm. All right, before we do our song, I thought we could play a little game of I Spy on the Farm. So I have some animals here, and I put them up on my board. And then we can play I Spy with my little eye, something that begins with a P and is pink. That one's easy because we saw it in our book. Do you remember? Is it dog? Is it horse? Is it pig? Yes, it's pig. All right. I spy with my little eye something that begins with D, D, D and is brown. Is it horse? Is it tiger? Is it dog? It's dog, yes, that's right. All right, let's do one more with these two animals. I spy with my little eye something that doesn't live on the farm. It has stripes and a long tail and says grrr. Is it horse? No, horse lives on the farm and horse doesn't say grrr, it's 
Tiger. Nice job. Let's do one more round of I Spy with my little eye. So let's see who we have this time. We have four more new animals. All right, I spy with my little eye something that is green and says ribbit, ribbit. Is it lion? Is it duck? Is it frog? It's frog and frog starts with F. That's our letter of the day. I spy with my little eye something that is yellow and starts with D, D, D. Is it cow? Is it duck? You're right, it's duck. All right, one more time. I spy with my little eye something that doesn't live on the farm, has a big mane, and roars. Is it cow? Does cow roar? No, it's lion. That's right. Nice job. Thank you for playing that game with me. All right, let's do a quick song and we're going to bring out cow to help us sing. There's a cow sitting on my, where should cow sit? Should he sit on my head? Let's do that. There's a cow sitting on my head. Oh no. Then he runs away and you know what to say. That's when we make cows noise. Moo. There's a cow sitting on my head. That's right, ready? We'll sing it together. There's a cow sitting on my head. Oh no! There's a cow sitting on my head. Oh no! And then he runs away and you know what to say. Moo! There's a cow sitting on my nose. No, on my head. Nice job, everyone. Let's do one more verse. Let's see. Let's have, and let's have cow sit on my nose. This time, can you show me your nose? Right there. All right, get ready for that moo. Ready? There's a cow sitting on my nose. Oh, no. There's a cow sitting on my nose. Oh, no. Then he runs away, and you know what to say. Moo. There's a cow sitting on my nose. That's not right. There's my nose. Thank you, cow, for helping us sing that song. Nice job, everyone. All right, let's look at our letter of the day. And today, do you remember what it was? The letter F, F, F for French fries. One of my favorite foods. Food starts with F too. Do you like French fries? I bet you can find some things that start with F around your house or around your yard or in your room. Maybe find all the things that start with F and make a picture. All right, it is time to say goodbye. That means we need to play Simon Says. Simon Says, wave your hand above your head. Simon Says, wave your hand by your knees. Simon Says, wave your hand in front of your nose. Simon Says, wave at your friends and your neighbors. You're my friends. Hi, friends. Simon says, give yourself a big hug. Squeeze nice and tight. Simon says, give yourself a big hand. You did a great job at story time today. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to check out all of our other story times and programs right here on Midpoint Library's YouTube channel. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.